Welcome back to the garden. Um, yeah, when I was doing the last video here, um, the last clip for the Big Mama question, um, I noticed something on the way back up to the porch. Uh, Maria Young has sent me a bunch of plants, okay? I mean a shed ton. So anyway, they're all growing really well, but I went ahead and potted them up. And here's one down here that I potted up. Let me pause for one second. Okay, here's one that she sent me. This is a calancho um, off of one of her plants. But I noticed another plant coming up in it. And lo and behold, it's an orchid. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was another one. I thought one of the little leaf um, plant things uh, dropped off into the thing and came up. But that is a little native orchid that grows here in Florida. Check that out. That is a Sporanthes species, I do believe. Now it's hard to focus in because that is teeny, you can see, but that is a, that is an orchid. That is an orchid. How cool is that? You just can't, it's Florida, you can't get away from orchids down here. If you live in Florida, you gotta grow at least one orchid. Come on, you know, at least a native, you know, let's get with the program, right? <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, we got some other spikes coming along and all that. Here's one. It's getting close to opening up. That's the uh, Stanhopia acidensis. And you can see it's a pretty good sized plant. That's in an eight inch basket. And uh, I'm getting ready to water that. I'm actually getting ready to finish up watering. So anywho, yeah, that's uh, gonna open up sometime probably this week and I'll share that with you guys. And Orchid Diva said she really liked that orchid, the Stanhopia acidensis. So um, I got her a cut. It produced a small plantlet on the side, kind of like a cakey, but not really. Um, so I potted that up for her and as you can see, it's got, well, I don't know if I can get around to it. It's got a nice little new growth coming and this should grow on really well for her. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. It's all about sharing in the orchid world, you know. Um, we do that occasionally, so. But anywho, I am going to continue watering and I'll do a few clips off and on. I gotta move all this stuff off and uh, get set up to water Papia Petalum. So, anyway, we'll be back in this video and we'll see you then. Alrighty. Good morning, I'm back. Um, yeah, I love the way the morning light filters through all these blooms. It's just gorgeous. Anyway, I gotta move the epigenium, which I just gave it a little squirt of water. And I'm gonna put that down here because I've gotta get to my Papia Petalums. So I'll put that down here next to Blanco's, um, yeah, Stanhopia. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. That's not exciting but uh, you know just wanted to share and I will get all these guys and get them on the table so I can get them watered because I know they need it um, we're not doing anything special today no nutrients no nothing just a flush we're just flushing the plants out and that's it so alrighty I'll be back on the porch in a sec okay so I got all the paphia pedalums out here um, one I want to actually take out of the pot, this one here. I want to take that out of the pot and give it a root check, see what's up with the roots. Um, got a couple here that are not down in the pot that have broken off. Anyway, I want to give see what's up with the root system on this guy and uh, probably pot it right back up with the same media for right now. Uh, that's on the agenda probably at uh, Tam Miami is getting um, new potting media and just repotting all these guys all in the same day. So that's something to look forward to. But uh, anyhow, I don't have enough room to set up my tripod. So I'm just going to go ahead and repot this and get it done. I'll be right back and we'll take a look at these roots. Okay, so I'm not seeing any new root tips or anything coming along so eh, it's kind of got me a little bit worried but uh, 
Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and repot that back up, and we'll see what's going on later on down the road with that. Until then, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, I hope I don't lose this one. This is an expensive one, so, um, like I said, I'm just going to keep it in the same pot. Um, it was in, and the same media for right now until I get down to Tam Miami and get new media. So, anyway, I'm going to pop this guy right back up and start watering stuff. Alrighty, I just wanted to check those roots. I don't see any green root tips or anything coming on that. I see some that are still a little bit viable, but uh, not a good situation, guys. Uh, things happen. Okie dokie, done with the Paphia Petalum watering, and uh, I forgot this orchid yesterday in my updates. Um, this is Angracum uh, Icurlianum. Um, yeah, so I'm shoving out some new roots and all that stuff. Got that from Seattle Orchids, it was a good price, so the other one died. We had another death that I'm not really amused about. Yeah, guess what? It was the Epidendrum uh, Vesicatum. It got some kind of Funkamungus and boom, it was dead. I looked at it the other day and I was like, well, that's kind of useless. So anyway, but I've got a freed up uh, mount, um, which I'm going to sterilize. I don't know what kind of funk that was that got a hold of it, but uh, the, the entire plant just turned brown and that was it. Probably water got down into the center of the plant um and anyway yeah it's toast so uh we will not be getting another one unless they become available down the road anyway i got a freed up uh mount uh the uh tree fern pot so i'm probably going to sterilize that and see what we can put in there maybe the epigenium treacherianum or i've got a miltonia cloesii um, that would probably do really good in that, or we'll find something at, uh, uh, yeah, we'll find something maybe at, uh, Tam Miami, who knows. So, anyway, um, yeah, if something exciting happens, I'll do a clip, and, uh, we'll see you then. Alright, you guys know that I've been dealing with mealybugs on this plant. This is the Epidendrum raniferum. So, yeah, I brought it up out of the polytunnel today to check it over, give it a once-over, make sure I got some or, you know, look for others. And I'm thinking I'm seeing some in here. Um, I know I found some because I'm nosy and I pull back sheaths and I find out. So, yeah, there's some right down in there. You probably can see them. If I can uh, move this... Uh, the spike is so weird to deal with. There they go. Yep. I pulled it back. You can see the sheath where I pulled it back. But uh, if I can focus in on them. Yeah, those are all mealy. So I got to give it a spray. Uh, this concoction is just grapefruit seed extract. Um, soapy water uh, made out of cinnamon tea and rubbing alcohol. And that's it. It'll kill the mealies. It's been doing it. So... Because I noticed where I sprayed uh, down below, they're all gone there. So, But I'm going to check again. I'm giving this plant a whole once over. So I'm not going to show how to run a spray bottle. I think everybody's got that under their belt. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to continue. If I find any stuff or spikes or sheaths or whatever, I'll holler at you. Oh yeah, found some more. These guys are good at hiding mealies. Look in there. Can you see them? I know I can see them. Anyway, that's packed full of mealies. I'm going to spray that. You got to really go over these plants really good uh, to make sure you get them. They will kill your plant eventually. So you really have to be diligent and you have to get out here and do it. I mean, check it over every inch of the plant. And that's a big plant. This is going to take me a minute. So, you know, just to let you guys know what you got to go through with orchids. It's, you know, that's just something I do. Um, I do not want to lose this plant because it's hard to come by. So, yeah, we're going to get in here and give it the once over. There's some up in here still. 
yeah look at that I got to spray that even more so yeah not amusing so but you got to do what you got to do right all right guys we will be back can't lose it so save it and there's another sheath getting ready to throw a few blooms out um, that's on a smaller growth um, but anyway yeah um, since this guy was in the poly tunnel and I took it out I'm gonna have to go in there and check for uh, mealies on plants in there where it was sitting so I'm gonna go ahead and do that oh that's sad the uh, Brasabola cordata is going downhill and blooms but anyway I'll give that a check up for mealies a little bit later um, actually what I'm gonna have to do is pull this out the um, what is that uh, called? I can't remember the darn name of it but uh, anyway I'm gonna go through all of these for mealies and I haven't seen any so far up here but uh, I'll get this done so hopefully we might have lucked out and I got a frankincense tree in here also so I'll have to um, I had that in for a couple days, so we'll have to take a look at that also. Um, all right, we'll go do something else. Um, I'm not going to put all that on camera. Um, you know, boring. <laughs> Ew, this plant hobby is something else, huh? So, all right, one more task I had meant to do today that I am going to get done is taking this guy off of the mount and potting it up. Let's see... Uh, Arachnus longicallis. So, yeah. And I want to put it in that pot. I know, it looks really big for the plant. I'm doing it all in hydroton. And, but I'm taking it off of there. And, actually, I'm going to pull the arachnus, my other arachnus out. And, uh, yeah, we'll check that out, too, while I'm doing this. So, alright. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go for this. I'm going to pull off all the fishing line that's on this guy cut all that and see if I can peel that off all right so we got it successfully off of the mount there's the mount and whatever that slop is it was uh, packed onto it but uh, yeah anyway and I think that's a new growth coming so I'm gonna make sure I leave that up above the potting media and we have Pennywise potting media because it all floats so yeah. All right, I'm gonna get this done. Um, I got stuff to do here and there, and um, yeah. All right, we'll be back. Okie dokie, that's a done deal. Yes, I've got it staked. So uh, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm gonna bring out the big arachnus since I'm dealing with mealies. I might as well bring it out. I'll give you an update on that and check it for mealies and all that nice stuff so um yeah but that's a done deal one job down today another job down rather and i found some plants that i'm willing to let go of these are my own hybrid adenium there's three in that pot i may divide those out but i'll throw those in at uh, tam miami and if anybody wants an adenium you can have one um of my own creation my own hybrid or whatever I don't know what the flowers are gonna look like but these are about three years to bloom so and uh, I'm gonna bring those so that'll be cool and uh, yeah anyway I'm gonna go pull the arachnus out I got a lot of plants to move blah blah I hate this but I love it it's what I do anyway I'll be back all right here is the other arachnus this is arachnus Maggie Wee now I'm sure if I stretched this thing all out, it would probably be about seven foot tall. So this is now classified as a giant orchid, in my book anyway. So we'll follow this uh, big long growth down here. Check out some of those roots. I've checked this for mealies. It doesn't have mealies. Yay. Um, yeah. All right, there's... Uh, all the way down. I had to put another stake in it today. And uh, here's a cakey. I'm going to have to, well, it's already kind of clinging in on up in there. So, but uh, yeah, big old thing, huh? We'll go down, keep following, keep following, keep following, keep following, and voila. 
that is another keiki right there that's another keiki and down into the pot we go so that's one of my large orchids I'll step back so you can actually get a perspective of how big this darn thing is <laughs> yeah pretty big huh alrighty guys that's the end of the video love and peace keep it growing and we'll definitely see you on the flip side have an awesome day folks Give you some bloom action on the way out. They're all out here swinging in the breeze. All right, we'll see you guys. Keep it growing.